Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making a video that is going to make you guys realize how sick and disgusting I am as a person. <laughs> um, so as you can tell from the title, it's a what's in my bag video, but I kind of also wanted to just pimp my bag out to you guys. So um, you probably don't know this about me, but I have a love for handbags. I have handbags from Target. I have handbags from, you know, like the mid-range, like Michael Kors, Kate Spade. Um, recently, I dipped my toes in the luxury handbag market. And honestly, if I could just stop by makeup, I could probably have a luxury handbag channel. So the way the beauty community is going, we might have to jump ship, but <laughs> I just thought this would be a fun video to talk to you guys about what's in my bag and also just to tell you guys about my sick obsession with this bag. So this is the Tory Burch Gemini Tote and I first saw this on Nordstrom when they actually had it on sale, um, I think last year. And basically, I thought it was really cute. And I'm a huge fan of huge totes. I have the Michael Kors, is it called the travel tote? I can't remember. That's not what this video is about, but I love tote bags. That bag is a little more structured. It has a zipper compartment and like inside pockets and stuff like that. So I just thought when I saw this bag online on Nordstrom, I was like, oh, this is really cute. It was under $200 and I was like, I don't own anything from Tory Burch. Um, I love that it's like a huge sack. So I bought this and oh my gosh, I just like beat this guy to death. Um, it's my everyday work bag and it was so functional. Like I was shocked because I always hated the idea of having a big open compartment because if you're like me, every time you hit your brakes really hard, your purse flies across the air and everything falls out. But it does have this little um, button situation so I'm able to shut it quite a bit and it's not so so big where it like spills open kind of like the Neverfull um, in the big size does. So I really like this. Also, I have a little purse hack. My friend Jalsa told me about these like $5 purse hooks you can get for your car. So I will link them down below if you guys are interested on Amazon. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with this purse. So I bought it. I carried it around. And then when I was in Vegas this January, I was like, ooh, it'd be so fun to find another bag like this because I think Nordstrom sold out of all the ones that they had on sale. And I was like, wow, I wonder if this is like a Tory Burch line that they usually do all the time, whatever. So I walk into the Tory Burch store, I'm carrying this one, and I see the new collection. So they came out with all these really fun shades and the sales associate, I was talking to her, I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm actually, I didn't see the yellow one at first. I was looking for it and the sales associate noticed my purse and she's like, oh my gosh, do you want to see the new ones? We just got them in store and she showed me the mustard color, which I will throw up a picture somewhere for you guys to see it. And it was beautiful, but it was a different, it was a more canvas feeling. This one is like a coated canvas. Um, so I was taken aback. It was beautiful. I wasn't planning on dropping like $200 on a Tory Burch bag at that time. So I didn't get it, but that yellow is sold out. Um, beautiful summer bag, whatever. So yeah, so I knew she came out with a summer line. Got super excited. Cue this bag. Um, so basically I had $100 burning a hole in my pocket to spend at Nordstrom just because you can like accrue points shopping at Nordstrom. And I had my eye on this bag and then Tory Burch had a sale and Nordstrom I believe does a price matching situation. So I was like, yes, Nordstrom. And I like chatted with the person online and they matched the Tory Burch sale and I spent got my $100 off, and so I ended up getting this bag uh, for under $100, or like very close to under $100. So I'm really proud of that situation. So this thing is really heavy, but before I show you what I typically carry around in one of these giant bags, I wanna show you my newest addition. So this is where the sick and disgusting part comes in, because like, do I need the same bag in every color? 
No, I don't. But like I said, I'm a sick, disgusting person. And um, Tory Burch had this color go on sale uh, about a month ago. And so it was under $200 again. And I love green. You guys know this about me. And so I bought it in the green. I think when I picked up the red one, I don't think the green was on sale. Or maybe I just wanted red to just kind of spice things up because I never really wear red. If I mean, today I'm wearing red. So that's kind of a coincidence, but usually I don't wear red a lot, even though I think it's very complimentary to tan skin tones. Um, so I was debating between the green and the red, and then Rel was like, okay, like, just like, don't even think about it, which color? And he showed me the two bags and I picked the red, so I bought the red one first. But yeah, when this one went on sale, I was like, Aha! yeah, I'm gonna need that. So I bought it, it's brand new. It still has the tag on it. I haven't used it yet, but yeah, I'm just like, my friends are gonna think I'm sick and disgusting. Like, every time I show up to dinner with my friends, they're like, oh, did you get the same bag in another color? Like, I've just been on like this situation. So the other thing that is low key kind of exciting for me is she just came out with another color of this bag and it's a brown <gasps> and it's so beautiful. I'm gonna put a picture up for you guys so you can see it. And this bag also comes in a smaller size with a, like, so you can wear a cross body, which is so cute. So I totally want to save up for either the same tote in brown because, like, I love that colorway so much. Or I will buy the smaller one so I can have an another option and wear a cross body. So... If I haven't convinced you to buy one of these yet, it's not going to happen. But I just love this bag. It's so worry proof and it's so cute and it goes with so many things that I never thought was possible. So my bag needs like some serious revamping. I wanted to film this uh, before I went through everything and like downsize because this is like a little too much. So this bag I picked up from a little boutique and it says this bag contains my face. Everyone gets such a kick out of that every time they see it. And in this one, I carry um, Shout Wipe and Go. These things are super handy when you spill on yourself. A $5 off Target gift card that expired on May 5th, 11th, not 5th. What am I saying? Okay, in here, I also have this little guy. Um, <laughs> this is pretty ineffective for my hair because I have a lot of hair, but this is a little mini brush from the dry bar. So I will continue to carry that around. I always need Kleenexes because I constantly need to blow my nose. I have another shout and I have some business cards. Um, I just made these for fun. So it says subscribe to my channel on this side and then um, this side gives like information if you want me to do my makeup, do me to do your makeup, which I don't usually do. Some of these because you never know when you might need it. And I won these at my old job um, before AirPods were a thing. I won these Beats uh, and I don't know what to do with them. I feel like I don't want to get rid of them because you never know when you might need like some extra headphones, you know? So I carry those around and then some medicine. Uh, yeah, headache pills. I don't know, my mom, she gave me a bunch of stuff. So I keep that in there. I feel like I need all this stuff. The downsizing is not gonna go well. I can already tell. I just got this bag, soups cute, from Milk Makeup when I ordered the little oils. The little, I don't know, whatever. So I decided this would be so fun to put all my lip products in. I never use my lip products enough, so I thought if I have a bag dedicated to lip products, I would get more use out of them. So in here I have uh, my Pat McGrath lip gloss. Um, my Juicy Lip Gloss from ColourPop, um, Buxom Dolly, this is like the only color I own and I actually really, really like this color. Um, my favorite Morphe Liquid Lip in True Story, this is like a tan girl's dream. Um, this is a new color called uh, Taunt that I picked up from Morphe. And then I love the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lipsticks. This is the shade Zuma. I also have some Ultra Mattes. This is ColourPop Controller. This is a ColourPop, ColourPop Gloss in Fresco. I have this guy called Good Karma. And then I have another um, Pat McGrath Gloss. 
Got a long way to go to finish that one up. And then another Ultra Blotta. This is from their watermelon collection called Swing Away. So pretty. And then I really bought this whole set for this color orange because I wanted an orange lip for the summer called Bugaboo. So that's everything in there. I usually carry that around in my purse. Here's another little pouch. I got this from the Target dollar section. Uh, I have some checks in here. Um, I also have a iPhone charger. Always handy. Um, I have this cute little sticker book from my planner. It's called the Simplified um, Planner Sticker Book. If you guys want a nice planner, I have a $10 off code. More checks and I don't know what that is. That can go in the trash. I have a manicure kit. This thing is so handy. You guys have no idea how many times my husband has come ask me for a nail file. Uh, this is like a cu stainless cuticle something, a little nail clipper, and this is so great for cuticle trimming. So I usually actually carry this around in this purse. And I should put my phone charger in here as well. See, we're downsizing, it's happening. We just want like one little pouch, maybe two. Um, I also have some super glue because I always need super glue. This needs to go back on my fridge. It's a little chip clip. Um, got some pens and this is a little Kate Spade eraser that I picked up because I write in my planner in pencil. Um, that way when I make adjustments to my schedule, I can just rub it out. Uh, this is my YouTube idea book. This is so cute. This book is from, this notebook is from Target and what I love about it is the binding makes me, like, it's easy for me to just open it flat, which is hard to find and the paper is amazing. So I got so many YouTube ideas, videos I've done, video ideas I want to create. Love that. Got myself a little Target receipt. This is from my trip to Target today. If you guys didn't know, I have a Target Instagram. It's called All I Want Is Target. You guys should follow me on there. Um, and then sometimes I carry sunglasses around. These are so cute. I got these from Old Navy and they were like super inexpensive. I used to have really expensive sunglasses. Um, my Ray-Bans, I lost. I've sat on so many pairs of sunglasses. My key sunglasses broke. Um, and they're just like loosen up over time. So I just love buying like sunglasses from like Forever 21, Old Navy, Target, because if I break them, no fuss there. So this is my planner. If you guys want to see a video on this, I did one. Um, and I think this is so beautiful. They've come out with new planners for the academic year of 2019-2020. I buy the annual planner, so my planner will be on sale in September when I am ready to go. I went to Target today and I love to shove things in my purse. So I did a little in-store pickup action and picked up these cute little camo shorts. Like, how cute. I hope they fit, um, but I'm excited. I've been on a Super huge camo kick lately, so that's in my purse. So let's talk about wallets. I carry two wallets. Um, these are both Kate Spade wallets. This one is like my big wallet. I think this is a travel wallet from Kate Spade. Totally recommend, it's huge. There's like a jillion card slots in here. So I have all my like credit cards and like gift cards and stuff like that in this wallet and cash I keep here. And then this is my wallet that I use all the time. So all my main cards, my driver's license, all of that is in here and I just love how small and compact that is. Oh, here's another pair of sunglasses. These are from Olive Street, my favorite local boutique of the moment. There's quite a few good ones in Fargo, shockingly. Car keys, uh, this is like super cluttered, but I have my AirPods on here. This is like the easiest way for me to store them and not lose them. Um, also, I can clip them on to like my purse with this, what are these called? Like Bahama something, I can't remember, a uh, Car Caribbean? Caribbean? I can't remember, my husband knows the word for it. So sometimes I just clip that to my purse. And then car keys, a uh, little Harry Potter keychain from when we went to Universal. Um, this year, this is a little Lily Pulitzer uh, keychain and 
Uh, what are these? Oh, one's my auto start, one's my car key. In case you guys didn't know, we have auto start. It's cold here. I just got my spare key from my car because I'm like, why is my spare key in my car? That seems to defeat the purpose of a spare key. Uh, got my tag in here for my bag. Um, got some earrings. I put these in here for the last weekend when I was hanging out with my best friend. These are so cute. I don't know if you can still find them, but if you can, they're from Target. And they go with everything, so I really love those. So glad acrylic earrings are making a comeback. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is mostly trash. Trash, trash, trash. That I need to go through. Oh my god, there's like actual dirt at the bottom. Bottom of this thing. Okay, okay. Just paper shit, paper shit. This guy... I am so shocked. I had so many comments from my video where I was wearing the Rustic Glam Palette by Kristen Dominique. Um, you guys kept asking me what the lip color was and it is NARS Jane. And this is crazy because you guys remember how much fuss people were making about the Audacious lipsticks. I think these lipsticks were like 30 or I want to say they were $42. They were really freaking expensive. So I bought one color. Um, because that's all I could afford and it literally sat dormant. I think I think for the last year or two I have never worn this and well I had worn it but I hadn't worn it for like the last two years or something and I picked it up and I wore it in that video and you guys loved it so that is the shade NARS Jane. Today I'm wearing a Pat McGrath lippy. Again one I don't wear all the time. It's over here. The shade is $19.95. It's a beautiful nude shade. Um, and the formula is amazing, and I have not found any metal in it yet. So that is everything, guys. I hope you enjoyed my what's in my bag video. Let me know what you guys think. Um, are you guys like me? Do you buy the same item in like 100 shades? I never used to be like that. I actually, when I was in college, I had a friend who would do that all the time. She had the same top in like five colors. And I thought it was so silly that she would buy the same thing over and over again. And I don't know if it's my like old age um, that makes me do that now. But if I find something and it works well for me, I will buy it in like every color. I can think of like multiple things in my closet that I have in multiple colors. It's kind of cringy. But you know what? It works for me, so a no shame in my game. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Just wanted to do something different for you guys, switch things up a little bit. And yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below. I will catch you in my next one soon. Bye, guys.